Hello, Narda here. Welcome back to another episode of the Fall of the Dungeon Guardians. So, we have a look at the map. Last episode, we cleared out all the unexplored bits. There's uh, a bunch of rubble over here. There's a gate over here that has a lever on the other side. So the only way to proceed forward is through these three doors that we see up here. Let's uh, start with the one that's all the way to the left here. And let's see what's behind uh, the door. Nothing is actively waiting here. That's positive. It almost appears to be an empty room. Let's see what's uh, what's there. I'm, I'm hearing something in the middle one. Let's see if there's some some symmetry to it, and if the the side room here is empty as well. There's something patrolling here, but it's on the other side of the wall. It seems like. Okay. Very curious. Okay, so it seems like there's some grates down. gate on the other side. So the middle room seems to be the one where all the magic is happening. Is there any place that's obviously, well, obviously or maybe not so obviously hiding a secret room before we head into the middle one? Because otherwise why would this room be here? Right. It's not like there's something on the floor. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm slightly puzzled by this. Well, uh, let's investigate to the middle room and then see what's up with the other room. So maybe it makes sense after we dive in. So here goes nothing. Ooh, it's our dear buddy, the skeleton champion. Ready, aim, fire. Let's open up with some plagues, open up with a soul eater, open up with that one, and go. You shouldn't really get angry until everything, everybody has cast their spells. So this gives us a bit of a uh, opportunity. Hey, right. yep, charge in. That means we can just uh, start rending like crazy. Suck out his soul and start stocking more things oh we defeated a skeleton champion before so with a bit of luck we will do so again as long as uh, no he doesn't kill anyone we should be good. we should be fine we should be fine and yes this is me trying to shop come on puppy smash Actually, these have how many seconds remaining? Eight seconds. Okay, so let's do one, and then after that, start refreshing these plagues. So far, so good. Also, if we have a look, I mean, these two guys are both now highlighted in yellow, which means they are in danger of attracting aggro. They're not quite attracting it, but they are getting higher on the list. Which, for my intents and purposes, is actually not a bad idea. Getting some aggro off of the main tank means we can just delay it by even longer. Okay, we actually buried it. Also, also I'm standing down a ramp. Doesn't feel like the best tactical position to be in. 
but we'll see. So far, so good. My healer is doing a terrific job at keeping the tank alive. Kicking down that smash also helped. Let's see, how are we with abilities? This is not going to last very much longer, three seconds. That's roughly the the cooldown timer or the casting time on this one. So I might as well queue that one up. How are we this with this? That's 13 seconds. We probably, probably want to put one shadow ball in between and then do a dire plague just to make it last for the entire duration. This is going way too well. Something is not right. This is going way too well. I mean, he's almost dead, and my tank is still alive. Okay, smash. Uh, okay, in the face. Oh, very dead. That helps. Okay. That was the elite champion skeleton, dude. Drop something shiny there. Found a metal trinket of the lion. Also, we leveled up, which is good. So let's uh, let's see how we can level up. So let's see. Last time we completed shield master, so we have a 20% extra chance to block with a shield. Thunderclap damage we could boost in in group combat. This might be very useful. If you boost it twice, we double the damage. So we go from 10 HP to 20 HP, which. It's actually going to bring it more on par with the rent because currently rent is single target, hit for seven, and then over the course of six uh, seconds, it applies two thirds of the of the damage over time effect. So it's going to hit for roughly twenty as well. So this way we can make a thunderclap hit about as hard as rent, but the difference is of course that thunderclap has a twelve second cooldown while rent has a very much lower cooldown. You can just basically keep chaining it. Anticipation, 6% dodge, it's pretty useful. Let's see what the next tier will bring. Last stand, temporarily raise your current and maximum HP by 30% for 20 seconds. After the effect expires, the extra health is lost. Interesting. Especially given that it also raises your current HP. So if you are down to, let's say, 50 HP out of 300, boosting it um, you're only gonna get 30% on top so that's 15 HP if you start out with it then you know if you have 300 extra 30% it's got to be 90 health on top if that expires after 20% hopefully hopefully it will just cut off the health so um, let's say in this case 314 health Let's say it gets boosted to 400. After 20 seconds, it's just reset back to 314. It could work in two ways. And I've seen both ways work in different games. So it's always interesting to see how the developer chose to implement it here. One way is to, I mean, in this case, if I go from 314 to 400 health, that means I gain 86 health. Uh, it, that's, no, the numbers are not quite right. But let's say I gain 86 health on top. So I could lose just 86 health. So my maximum health goes from 400 back to 214. And whatever my maximum, what my current health was, I lose eight, uh, eight, 86 from that. That's one way to implement it. It's temporary health. And afterwards, all the wounds you have suffered, you will face them as well. The other way is that you gain temporary health. So I get boosted to 400. And then afterwards, Every uh, HP I have above 314 is just lost. But if I had more than 314 HP, then I will just keep what I had. Or maybe even just lose it proportionally. So depending on how this is implemented, it can be either really powerful to start out a big fight with, like for example against a, a skeleton champion or a end boss. Because if you have a, uh, basically a 80 or 90 or 100 extra health at the beginning of the battle, that will just 
that you basically it then it becomes like a big preemptive heal rather than just having a temporary bigger health pool so this definitely has potential depending on how it's implemented let's see Rachel taunt all nearby enemies so that's the the, the beefed up version of taunt it's uh, usable only once every two minutes but it yeah might be useful or something I don't know uh, what does enraged do increase all damage down by 25% and lowers all damage received by 5% for 20 seconds okay that actually makes it pretty cool because then you buff yourself and you increase the, your ability to tank and that's pretty cool especially if you combine it with something like a last stand you know you rage yell to get all the attention and then you activate last stand to have a increased amount of HP while you take less damage from being enraged on the other hand armor master also seems pretty cool I mean, more armor is more armor which means more damage reduction all the time okay definitely a lot of interesting things going on okay holy atonement casting holier barrier also heals you for 19 hp so that's uh, basically a defense that does self-healing and retaliate actually synergizes with that so there are interesting cross class skills that you could use okay for now let's go with uh, last stand and see how it works so the next time we face another big nasty mini we will see what last stand does for us so we got an item uh, strength and agility trinket uh, from the looks of it we already have something very similar over here yep for our tank we lose some stamina and parry to gain the strength i'm not quite sure if this is a boost so let's see i uh, would equipping it would lose me 15 health and how much parry would i lose i would go from 16.6 percent to 15.3 so that's 1.5 percent i do gain half a percent of block and i do increase my damage per second by 0 0.3 chance goes up a little bit and I lose some health regeneration because my health goes down okay I think my old setup was better okay so that's yet another useless item that I found okay this looks like some big kind of throne room so we have a altar here Here lies blue gold. You brought a thousands back to life, and then some. So remember, earlier we picked up the ashes of blue gold. Here lies Notman Recklaw. Our thanks will never be enough to show our admiration. We picked up their ashes as well, and the last one. Here lies Redlow Soraj. Many followed your path, building up your legacy. So there is a, a portcullis here or a door, but it's locked, which makes me wonder. Probably have to defeat the bosses or resummon the bosses with the ashes and then face them. So interesting. Let's uh, do a quick save because we just got this far, and now we see. So check blue gold ashes of blue gold Ta -da, that's one not one reclaw that's this one and then the final one is going to be red love so rush so 
door opened and the ashes have started to sparkle. Why have the ashes started to sparkle? Okay, interesting. So for now, we'll just accept that they sparkle as we continue exploring. Okay, so this side room here still, still doesn't sit right with me. But I don't think I could have actually found anything there, so uh, let's investigate. There's footsteps. There's uh, spider links over there. Okay, shoot at the beasties. We can do that. All to do that day. Uh, let's uh, start out with a caster. Okay, that should get some attention, which means we can just start a thunderclapping over here and then a soul sucking. Wondering what's up with these boss, uh, boss people's. Is. Okay, that's. Uh, they are pretty tough, actually. I mean, our archer is taking quite some damage, our healer is taking quite some damage, and our tank is having difficulty establishing aggro on all enemies. I'm just shooting a sniper shield, so let's... Yes, I was. Okay, so we took out one enemy. Next up, the next enemy. That's pretty easy. Two down, two more, two down. And it seems like we've actually reasonably firmly established aggro now. Which is not really a minute too late since our both our healer and our hunter are having some uh, health issues. Let's uh, put it that way. Okay, and the final one. Yeah, we can just do a rent. See, interrupt the bite just because we can. We've got to do that. But then again, they are only only spiders. Okay, picked up some leather armor. Let's have a look at that. Oh, it's actually plate. It's not even leather. It just looks like leather. I mean, it doesn't really look platey. I we'll gain extra stamina instead of an agility, which is good. Life is life, la 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 la, and all that. Uh, let's uh, do some healing and uh, do a group heal while we explore. Let's do a quick save. There's a plaque on the wall. Oh, it's about to sneeze. Don't even try. Okay. So a quick save. <laughs> is this really seriously meant as in don't even try? Or is this just a, uh, a challenge boasting from a boss, so to say? Ooh, it's a maze. It's a pretty cool. Well, Fireballs are pretty hot. But you know what I mean. Okay. Interesting. Timing these fireballs. 
definitely interesting. Let's go there. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so we lost one. Sure. Yes, you can't really see a lot. Dead. Holy moly! <laughs> ah, that's fun. A lot of loot, though. This is definitely worth it. Well, I have to be really quick about it, actually. Okay. So that one is on cooldown. Okay, let's pause. Let's have a look at the gear I just picked up. I see a lot of boosts, that's positive. This was positive, okay, so, wow, epic champion chest plate of a wall breaker. Four modifiers, all pretty epic looking. I lose a little aim, one point of stamina and 19 points of parry, but I gain a ton of armor, haste, hit chance, strength. Okay, so how much armor do I get? 55.3 becomes 57.6. That's pretty good. Also, carrying way too much armor now, so let's just uh, drop it. Next up, fine bracers of the fox. That's willpower and haste. That's definitely caster material. Let's see if I remember correctly. Willpower. It's just mana regen, magic resistance, and block. So I don't want to sacrifice any awareness for it. Not on my medic at least. On the other hand, haste for faster casting. Definitely useful. Especially on a character that does a lot of different spells. So... That's it, you get it. We need more mana regen, that uh, might be useful as well. And the ring, that's uh, stamina, hit chance, and crit chance. Historically, stamina, I've wanted to put as much of that as possible on my tank. In this case, we lose some parry and we gain some crit and hit, so that we don't gain more defensive properties, we just lose some aggressive properties. Or we gain some aggressive properties, which might not be entirely what I want. Okay, so the hunter, I lose some agility and I gain some, some slightly more defensive traits. Uh, which might not be what I want. On the healer, I lose awareness, which I don't want. So I think it's going to be the, the snake ring of the beast on our warlock that's going to be sacrificed here. Because losing some agility, that's not really a big deal. Uh, that's that one. But gaining all those defensive properties is definitely useful. Okay. So, now to get out of this death trap. There will be a firewall coming from my face. Okay. So let's uh, regain some health and then walk out again. Oh, this is definitely fun. It's nice that it says don't even try. Queue this one up. Full party heal. Okay, so it's splash damage, so if the thing coming from the opposite side crashes into the wall besides me, I take a little bit of damage. Also, we might have a, a good opportunity to try out the last stand. So let's uh, do a heal. Just to uh, make everybody benefit from the regen. Hey, 
Let's do a quick save. Let's see, we had to plant, plant. This one has shot, then we move out. Come on. Yeah, man. Okay. We wait for this one to shoot. Yep. Can't jump, unfortunately. Okay. Let's wait for the one in front of us. Oh, let's do that now. Okay, this one has just shot. Okay. A last stand type thing. Good. Okay, so we lost one person. Doesn't matter as long as we keep them all alive. Ow, not in the face. Okay, we made it. <sighs> oh, that was fun. <laughs> As I, I keep saying, I really do like the level design in this game. Now, every level is different. In this case, now there's a lot of locked doors. And then you got a maze filled with fireball traps with loot at the end. How fun is that? And it's just, just optional content. Okay. Ah, big spider. Okay. Let's uh, nicely, nicely hide up here. Wait for the health to regenerate, do some healing. And then next episode, we're going to continue hunt down that spider and see what's up with these ashes. I mean, sure, I was expecting a boss fight of sorts rather than just putting the ashes down and moving on. Well, again, we haven't seen the boss yet, so maybe, maybe all three of them will be resurrected in some final hideous form somewhere that we have to fight three bosses at once. I don't know. That's the fun part. So next episode, we will find out together or the episode afterwards or however long it takes to find the boss and defeat this level. So once again, I thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.